Hey everyone, welcome to this tutorial. Today we're going to talk about how to rename categories in Aspire. Uh, this is something you may want to do if you've had categories for a while or have been using Aspire for a while. Um, and there's a category that uh, you just want to change the name of or um, it never really fit the description that it's being used for. Um, or you're just tired of whatever you call it a category and you want to change it to something else. So uh, I'm going to show you how to do this today. Uh, I'm going to start by clicking on the category that I want to rename on the configuration tab. Uh, for my example here, I want to rename dining out uh, to restaurants. So I'm just going to delete that there. And I'm going to type in restaurants to, to take its place. And I'm going to hit enter. Um, now what this does is it takes uh, all the back-end data that's in Aspire and updates uh, dining out to restaurants, uh, which is great. Um, but the problem is um, there's some existing data on other pages um, like previous transactions or category transfers um, that will still say dining out and I'll show you what that looks like. So if I click over to the transactions page you'll see even though I changed my dining out category to be restaurants um, the old label here of dining out uh, is still stuck on um, on this transactions page um, and that's because any existing data that you have in, have in Aspire can't be updated uh, dynamically just by changing some data on another sheet um, when this when this data is already already existing. Um, so I'm going to have to go in manually and, and update these. Um, so the best way to do that is to uh, is to use the find and replace feature uh, in Google Sheets, and I'm going to show you how to use that. Um, so I'm going to hit uh, if you're on a Windows computer, you're going to do Control F. If you're on a Mac, you're going to do Command F. Uh, and you'll see I get this little window over here that says Find and Sheet. Um, I'm going to click the three dots and that brings up the find and replace menu. Um, so what I want to actually find is my old category name which was dining out and I want to replace that with my new category name which was restaurants. So um, very importantly the next thing I want to I want to do is I want to make sure that I'm modifying this sheet only. Um, I only want to do the transactions page for right now um, and you want to make sure that when you do this you also have this sheet selected. Um, there are, are lots of other formulas and things um, that update dynamically uh, within Aspire and we want to make sure that we don't, we don't accidentally modify any of those things. Um, I'm okay with all these options down here. I, I don't really want to select any of those. I, I don't think they're necessary for this. Um, so I'm going to hit replace all and I'll see that I got two instances of dining out replaced with restaurants which is great uh, and I can see that my little red error message uh, here in the cell is gone and the dining out uh, old uh, label has been updated to restaurants. So my transactions page is done. Now I'm going to go over to category transfers. You can see I see the same thing with dining out and my little uh, my little invalid flag there. Um, so I'm going to go back up to control F. I'm going to open up the find and replace menu and I'm just going to do the same thing again. Okay, so I've got my old label in there, my new label that I'm replacing it with. Uh, I'm going to make sure to be very careful and I'm going to select this sheet again and I'm going to hit replace all. And you can see I got one instance of dining out replaced uh, with my new label restaurants, which is exactly what I wanted. So that's how you update uh, the data on the transactions and category transfers page. Um, you just want to keep in mind if you do this um, that if you've used uh, the label actually in the memo, you know, you'll be updating the memo as well. So any, any matches of the string dining out uh, will be changed over to restaurants in this, not just um, the entries in that category drop down. Um, so anything that matches, it's, it's probably unlikely that anything else does match um, dining out on either, either of these pages. Um, but just to, for your awareness, be careful for that. Um, so one last thing I'm going to clean up here um, is now that I've changed the category name, I just want to make sure that any drop downs uh, on any other pages that may have actually had dining out selected, um, I just want to make sure they're updated um, to, to the new restaurants drop down. So I'm going to start by looking at the dashboard. Um, and sure enough, you can see that I had dining out selected here. Um, I was viewing some data on it earlier. Um, so I'm just going to pick restaurants from that list. And that just refreshes that um, because we, as we renamed dining out restaurants, the old label um, didn't really apply anymore. So I'm, now that the dashboard's cleaned up, I'm just going to check. Uh, I'm going to check category reports. Um, it looks good. I only had gasoline selected there. Um, account reports shouldn't really have anything with categories. 
Um, so I'm going to go over to trends. Um, I did have one trend here that was dining out. I'm just going to change that to be um, restaurants now. You see that that updates properly. So that's just a little bit of uh, a little bit of housekeeping that you have to do uh, after renaming categories. You just want to just want to check after yourself to make sure you don't have any invalid entries in any of those drop downs. Um, so I believe that's it. Uh, that takes care of renaming categories in Aspire. Um, if this is something that uh, you're in uncomfortable with, if you don't really like, uh, if you feel like that's a risky thing uh, with using the find and replace method, um, then maybe before you get started, you just want to go up to file and hit make a copy. Um, so you make a copy of your current sheet kind of as a backup um, before you do any of this finding and replacing um, of strings and labels. Um, and that'll just make sure um, that if something does go wrong, you always have something really easily um, that you can revert back to. So that's it. Thank you for watching, uh, and we'll see you next time.